So our Christmas presents are already done for the kids. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Are you done with me? I have one thing coming. There's one thing under the tree. Yes. And then there's I have one more present coming. They're both very small. They're both very inexpensive. I'm getting... Wednesday when I'm off work, I'm going to go get your present. Oh, really? Yeah. And then... I wanted to get you two, but one is not working out. What's the price value? Will you tell me? No. <laughs> <laughs> you tell me first. Well, okay. My price value... The, the thing under the tree is... It's around five bucks. I can't remember. Okay. Uh, it might be six bucks. It might be three. It might be four. <laughs> it's around five bucks. And then the thing coming uh, coming uh, is about 15. Okay, perfect. The thing I'm going to buy you Wednesday is about 20. Okay. That's and good. If the second present works out, I'm going to get it too. But it's around the same, maybe a little bit less. Okay. So. And then the kids, their stuff is already done. So we yeah. bought Lennox a bike. Well, yeah, they're... Their main presents are done. I'm going to fill a stocking for each of them. Right. <laughs> um, but so with Luna, you let her go hog wild on Sheen, yes. which is a very cheap clothing website that all the kids rave about. Uh, and she, how, how much did she buy? Do you know? A couple hundred bucks? I spent a hundred dollars on her. And okay. then she, that very same day. So we did that transaction. Okay. She picked out everything. Yeah. Then she spent 50 of her own dollars. Okay. To do a second transaction that same day. Okay. <laughs> so we did two orders. The and... stuff that she paid for, she was able to open. But the <laughs> stuff that I bought for her, when yeah. it got here, I wrapped it. And it's currently wrapped under our tree. But she picked everything. She picked everything. She already knows what she's going to get. Yes. So, uh, <laughs> but we, we just you decided to wrap them. Yeah. To have some presents under the tree. Even yeah. though there's zero surprise. And with Lennox's bike, which we bought about a month ago, right? Yeah. Uh, maybe a little less than a month ago. Uh we were like, this is your Christmas present. <laughs> and then I told him he's not going to have anything to open under the tree. And he's pretty sad, but he gets it. Yeah. And I told him, you're still going to have your stocking. Yeah. Which is going to be fun. Yeah. Hopefully he's not sad Christmas morning. I'll be like, yeah. go outside and ride your bike. <laughs> <laughs> go downstairs. <laughs> go go ride your bike that you got six weeks ago. <laughs> we explained to him, like, the supply chain. Yeah. We're worried. Right. That the bikes are going to sell out. Yeah. Oh. I woke up Frankie. I kind of kicked him a little bit. Oh. Uh, he's, he's angry. I know. 16 hour uh, grudge. And uh, oop. So we committed a crime today. We. A crime of passion. Committed theft. <laughs> Burglary. Practically. We're, was... we're smashing grabbers at the Louis Vuitton store. Okay. That's us. <laughs> We go in there, we uh, we smash and we grab. Although it's, uh, to to me, it's more try before you buy, and then yeah. we just don't return things. Uh, but what what had happened was uh, we did our Walmart shopping today, um, fruits and veggies, and a few other things. Uh, but in the produce section, you grabbed it's a little plastic uh, container of. Uh, a couple bags of apples, right? Like it's good for lunches because they're they're pre-sliced, they're packaged in uh, little bags you could throw, and it's got four slices in there or something. Mm -hmm. And this is a little plastic container with a couple of those There's bags. Like seven, eight, eight, ba eight little packets okay. of apples. Yeah, and uh, we throw it in the shopping cart, hoping to pay. And then <laughs> we do our finish our shopping. We go to self checkout. And uh, the thing won't scan because the barcode is kind of smudged. It's a very blurry printout. Yeah. The the sticker label that they put on the outside. So the yeah the the scanner can't read the barcode. Right. So being an upstanding citizen. Yes, you're a good person. I tried everything I could on the screen to look up item, enter code. Yeah. Manually put it in and pay for it. Yeah. Nothing was coming up. Nothing was working. Right. So I told you, just put it back, just put it in the cart. Yeah. And I thought, okay, put it in the cart because when we're done with our transaction, we're going to head back to produce and throw it back on the shelf and, uh, and we'll, we'll part ways friends. <laughs> we'll part, we'll part as friends. Um, but then you said, no, we're, <laughs> we're going to walk out. We it. finished and we had like three bags of groceries. Yeah. And so I finished, got the receipt and you were like, what about this? The apples? Yeah. I said, just, I said, just put it in the cart. Just 
just put it down. And I was like, okay. Because, <laughs> see, what I never knew but, uh, before you, and you told me this a couple years ago, but I thought the barcodes were uh, connected to sensors at the door. So if oh, you right. if you grabbed a, a box of granola bars and just walked out the door, s- uh, lights and sirens would go off and uh, the popo would try to attack you, whatever. But uh, you told me, and like I said, this is breaking news, um, that no, n- none of that, that's not hooked up to anything. That's just to scan the price. And that's why people will walk out with stuff and stuff things in their pocket, down their pants and bags. <laughs> um, that's how they shoplift. Hello, Franklin. <laughs> uh, yeah, how long has he been here? Frankie has been on our bed since about 9 o'clock a.m. Right. And it it's is 5, 5 p.m. p.m. <laughs> <laughs> He's lazy. It's a tough life. Uh, but uh, so you, you said we're going to walk out with these apple slices without paying for them. I didn't say it that brazenly because I was trying to be coy because mm-hmm. we were surrounded by Walmart employees. Yeah. But I was, you were like, what are, what are we going to do? I was like, no, we're just, we're just going to take it. <laughs> and I, th- I thought, well, what, what about the morals that I, my mom raised me with and ethics? Uh, but then I was like, all right, well, we'll see what happens. And we, we, uh, we, we tucked the apple slices into one of the bags. <laughs> so it's not hanging out because Walmart has the, the guy who, or a girl, uh, the person who uh, stands at the exit and looks at your receipt. What they do with—do they actually look at anything? Do they check anything? I wonder. Uh, I wonder what they're looking at because they just look at it for a couple seconds. But yeah. I feel like there's maybe there's something on there that they. What are they looking for? Maybe if you the walk dates? out with the TV and your receipt is for three dollars, they'll be like, "Wait a second, it, it's too deter." shoplifting i guess did you see the guys in front of two guys were in front of us with a little bag yeah and the guy this the walmart person was like excuse me yeah and they kind of waved him off like no no and he tried again and they just they said no and they kept walking well he one of the guys had a shirt that said loss prevention on it which means uh security store security of of something but he seemed very unofficial no i think that was a fashion that was a Oh. That, that wasn't a real security guard. That was oh. like a fashion piece. <laughs> oh, like you walk like a uh, like you're cosplaying your security guard, so you can. Uh, I, I don't know. Do you still have your Walmart, your Walmart vests? You I can... do. Well, why don't we wear them the next time we go to the it's store? In my vest. I'll go in there. Let me see your receipt, young man. Um, so uh, we try to be discreet about it. We s- shove the apples into the bag. And a uh, guy checks our receipt, does nothing. <laughs> I guess you got you. You have to glance at, yeah, uh, at, at the at the bagged items. Uh, but then he let us go. So okay, now we tried to look it up in the in the scan self checkout. It wasn't there. Sliced apples. Uh, the guy looked at our thing, let us go. So w- Walmart was practically begging us. To steal those apples. A couple things to justify my actions. Mm -hmm. Number one, I did it as revenge for all those mom and pops that they shut down over the years. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Sticking it to the Wally. Yeah. You you were you were Main Street and you stuck it to Wall Street. Yeah. Yeah. Number two, it's very inexpensive produce. Well, now, like, now we're just I, reaching. I wouldn't steal a coffee maker, which is only fifteen dollars. <laughs> because it's more difficult <laughs> to walk with it under your under your arm. I wouldn't steal a diamond ring. <laughs> okay. Uh, do you have any? What's your defense? <laughs> uh, I was just going along, officer. I, I don't. She's the criminal mastermind, <laughs> Your Honor. <laughs> You're my accomplice. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I, well, I just wanted to see if we would get away with it, and we did. And you just wanted a little thrill. I know it was very exciting. We were like Thelma and Louise, uh, we without driving off into the canyon and dying at the end. Yes, I guess technically that's stealing, but is it not true that in California, I, I think it's not even punishable by law unless right. it's over eight hundred dollars. Yeah, I, I, I've heard steal? the figure is nine fifty, like under a thousand or something. But yeah, yeah. so. So we should have stole more, <laughs> is what you're saying. Uh, well, 
Well, you know what? We're we're out here. Those are for Lennox and Luna's lunch lunches. Okay. I'm just trying to feed my kids. We're out here just trying to feed these kids. We're out here just trying to make it in this rap game, and uh, a little shrinkage, a little loss prevention. Actually, when I did work at Walmart for a long, long time, uh, uh, theft was so so rampant at um at uh, the Walmart in Antelope, and they would lock up just nonsense like uh. uh uh, tire pumps, the little the little oh. needles that cost a buck. <laughs> and now you go to Walmart, they lock up like uh, t-shirts now and uh, und- underwear, yeah. deodorant, baby formula. It's 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 it's, it's bananas. It, you know what it is? It's crazy. <laughs> and uh, oop, I don't feel guilty. Really? Okay. I feel a little bit embarrassed that we're telling the public right now. <laughs> On the pod about uh, this. This is all for show. We're making it up. This is all fiction. It's for shock value. This is all for entertainment. This is all for the clout and the likes <laughs> and the clicks. Hmm. Don't cancel me. We're out here trying to go viral. Uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, they, they've, they've made enough money. You know what? Maybe if they paid their workers more and gave them health care. Yeah. Okay. And all their workers weren't on the public dole. Walmart is really stealing from the American people. Right. Yeah. I pay my taxes. Yeah. We're, we're, we're paying uh, for their employees' health care because they won't give their employees health care and a livable, uh, living wage. Hmm. Mm-hmm. The labor shortage. Where is the lie? The supply chain. Ever hear of it? Hmm. And a uh, oop. Greetings, Internet. Welcome to But I'm Still a Good Person by Vince Nicholas. I'm Vince Nicholas. I'm joined by my sparkling wifey, Carolyn Nicholas. Hello. Hello, honey. Thank you for joining me at our bedroom <laughs> we are currently in bed <laughs> why why are we in bed honey well we last night we also did a pod here yep. in our bed mm-hmm. talking about the beatles documentary right we did it yesterday i've been i brought this idea up to you a yeah. week or two ago i said let's do a pod from bed just yeah. for fun yeah like a special saturday night we're getting Come intimate in. <laughs> yeah exactly we're getting to know each other but last night I was freezing cold, uh, so I was like, C- "Let me climb into bed and get under the covers, yeah. and we'll just we'll just talk in our bed." Yeah. And here we are. Here we are in our bed. Our cat Frankie Blue Nicholas is right next to me. He's been here <laughs> for eight hours now. <laughs> uh, yeah, and the acoustics are better because it's it's a smaller and there's more. Like we have blankets, so that soaks up the reverberations or whatever mm, it does sound it sounds good i think yeah it's like uh, it's like the beatles get back out here <laughs> um and uh we do get uh uh, uh loud and <laughs> the wow chows don't appreciate it uh luna's not a fan luna doesn't use our promo code lennox says y'all loud <laughs> uh, and we're like sorry we we get a little animated well we have hot takes, a lot to say. And uh, oop. Oh, you know, we could talk about because the kids aren't listening. What? And uh, oop. Well, boom, boom. once or twice a week <laughs> in the morning, we uh, renew our vows uh, and we have to shut the door. And then uh, one morning, it was, it was a weekday morning, school morning, so everyone's getting up and out. Uh, up and at them early sometimes <laughs> we 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 kind of hope or bank on the fact that the kids don't wake up before we do yeah uh, that's the hope and prayer yeah but they've been waking up earlier and earlier lately, I know. and it's and really messing up our schedule there's no rhyme or reason there's no pattern but uh so what we do is uh we close our door we lock it and then um and this particular morning it was a couple weeks ago uh Late later in the morning when we're all eating breakfast and getting ready and blah blah blah, uh, Luna observed, "Why was your door closed this morning?" <laughs> and uh, I was like, "Honey, you want to handle this one?" <laughs> Thanks, honey. And uh, oop, I was thinking on my feet. Yeah. And I very quickly came up with, "Oh, Frankie was bugging us." Right. So we closed the door so he couldn't come in. Yeah, Frankie was running around like a wild man which he often does he does like when we're sleeping in the middle of the night he's he's like a racehorse around <laughs> here sometimes uh and 
it never wakes me up, but well, it's woken me up once because he literally like, uh, uh just he jumped up, jumped on, our up bed. on our bed, yeah, like, literally he, on my back, and he galloped across and he scampered around on our bed, and uh, it was it was uh, it was bedlam, uh, but yeah, we we blamed it on Frankie, and and it worked. <laughs> oh, she bought it. Oh, she bought it. Yeah. Okay. What? Because Lennox was there. Do you think he bought it? I think they both bought it. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Thank goodness for Frankie. <laughs> when do we? When we? <laughs> when will we be able to stop blaming Frankie, or no longer blame Frankie, and uh, take Luna under our arm and say, "Well, when a guy and a girl like each other." Because <laughs> I remember when Grandpa Curtis, my stepdad, had the talk with me, and he brought out the book. And, oh uh, Lord! <laughs> the, it was quite the deal. Did you ever get that a similar? Yeah. Mm. I don't remember like a talk. Mm -hmm. My mom and I like had many talks because I had many questions. Mm. I was a very curious youngster. Yeah. So I remember talking to my mom many times about the birds and the bees. Mm. I didn't have a book, but one of my best friends had a book that her dad gave her. Yeah. So we took it out in the backyard and we looked at it and we just were cracking up laughing. Oh, dear. Where did these dads get all these books? <laughs> <laughs> so just like one book? I they wonder. A, they issue uh, dads. <laughs> hmm. And a uh, oop. Okay. The, we're going to review four. That's right. Four restaurants. We're falling behind, honey. Uh, and hopefully we'll keep this as brief as possible. We're not going to keep it as brief as possible. Um, so we have dined in the past few weeks. At, today we went to Ayalisco. Number two, or as in Spanish, it's a Mexican restaurant, uh, Taqueria, uh, Ayalisco, Numero Dos. Uh, it's on Jefferson Boulevard in West Sacramento. Last night, we ate at the Nugget. We went to their hot bar. Um, self-serve. Yeah, self-serve where they have a bunch of prepared food. Um, last week, is that when the sleepover was? Yes. We did Oishi Teriyaki. Uh, oh, the Nugget is in West Sacramento. There's a few, but we went to the one super close to us uh last week uh we did oishi we got takeout from oishi teriyaki um it's on lake road i believe in west sacramento uh and that was for luna's sleepover yes yeah. <clears throat> for her uh, and the girls mostly right she had three girlfriends so four girls and you and you guys all got a bunch of sushi and we also went to pizza guys that was last weekend i think so yeah, yeah. it was after after the cheese, we've been. <laughs> we've been <laughs> I'm sorry, lot. mom. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We uh, we use coupon codes. We try to. <laughs> <laughs> we've been eating out. Well, we enjoy our weekends. Uh, okay, so I just have uh, many uh, notes, ideas, observations, hot takes. Uh, we'll talk about what we ate, what we thought. <clears throat> this isn't in chronological order because I'm too lazy. <laughs> we, we're so behind. Uh, so, and who cares? Uh, let's start with Oishi uh, Teriyaki. Um, we did online ordering. Uh, ordered it at 3.23 p.m. And then uh, I got there at 3.43. It's about 10 minutes away. A little less than 10 minutes. Um, and it was ready to go. Uh, we ordered online and did... Did we just we just got like six California rolls? We got or? A, yeah, like six California rolls and then two special rolls, different rolls. <laughs> yes. Yeah, um, it was a total of sixty six dollars, and uh, you could tip ahead on the website, but I I hate that. I, I hate tipping ahead on the website, and they they want cash. Uh, oh really? The the servers, yeah. Because mm. when it goes through the website, don't don't they take a bigger portion or? I assume so. Yeah. Or or and when when they tip uh when when you get a cash tip you can pocket more can, <laughs> yeah. more under the table every here bit honey hmm. uh so uh you could tip on the website our total was sixty six dollars and uh but I put in the little note section like like they have a little area where you can write uh, we want extra forks or extra teriyaki sauce or whatever I put in a little note there 
uh, I wrote, I will tip in cash when I get there with the smiley emoticon. <laughs> I love that. I think we need to do that all the time yeah. when we order online from now on. Because I always worry when you don't tip that they're going to be mad. They're going to be mad. Yeah. Throw our food on the ground. Right. <laughs> throw our food on the ground, step on it, and then say, here you go, Mr. Nicholas. Um, so I, I thought that was a good method, um, a good strategy. Uh, and then when I went there... Uh, I think we tipped twelve dollars, um, which is about twenty percent. Um, uh, when I went there, uh, I walked in. Re- food was ready, um, and they had a big tip jar. But I wanted to make sure that they saw because I put the note in there. Hopefully, they read it. Uh, and then I wanted to make sure, so I, I pretended to hand the dollars to 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 the lady to the worker. Even though I saw the giant tip jar, it was like it was like a it was like a two foot high uh, glass jar that said <laughs> tips on it, and I saw it, but I wanted her to to know that I was giving her a tip, and then so I handed it, I I motioned the dollars, the cash towards her, and then I pretended, oh, there's a tip jar, so I was like, oh, so I threw it in there. I made a big scene, honey, uh, because well. <laughs> I want I want them to know that I, that I care and that uh, that I'm giving them money and that 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 they're not getting gypped and I didn't lie I didn't lie okay um, but well one thing like we we we, we tipped twelve dollars on a sixty six dollar tab um, but we ordered through their website which takes no resources I mean they have a website and they they pay a web host <laughs> and like. Uh, maybe they have an email address or a domain name so so it's not like calling up and saying hey can i get a california roll and can i get a um you're not occupying their time and then you're you're not uh dining in you're not going there where they got to come to your table and take your order and talk to you it's the order is literally coming up on a computer screen or uh or a printout on a receipt on a ticket so it's it's taking no resources. So tipping when you're ordering through a website, just, what, what are you paying for? For so, them to put it on a shelf? Put it in styrofoam? So you're tipping them for cooking and packaging your food. Which they would do. <laughs> That's their job, yes. Oh, I'm, I, and I'm, I'm pro-tipping. I like to tip as much as you let me. I, I like to tip when it's... When we're dining in and there's a waiter and they and they take our order and they say, oh. They're... You would assume the cost of their effort and time and paying their employees to prepare and package is taken into account when they're pricing their food on the menu. Because mm-hmm. isn't that the whole, the whole point of how much right. should we charge for this item? Right, right. So the tipping is just the cherry on top. Yeah. And, and it's not like, because waiters make what? Three bucks an hour is that right. how it goes? Something horrible. But the, <clears throat> Oishi and most of the the joints we go to, that they're not waiters; they're order takers. <laughs> I don't I don't know what the it's hard to tell because classification. Suki Sushi, yeah. which, which is nearby, that we have dined in a few times. Yeah, they don't seem to have waiter waiters only. Like yeah. they're they're doing. It seems like they do they multi multitask. Hmm. They're doing a lot. Hmm. I'm not sure how it works. Yeah. But it's it's hard in this new day and age with this online ordering, and we we always bring our food home. Yeah, tipping is it's different, and the service is totally different. Yeah. So it's hard to know how much should we tip. What's yeah? Maybe we maybe we should ask. Like, are you a waiter? Are you <laughs> making two dollars an hour? Or are you making seventeen dollars? <laughs> Tell an me hour? what you earn. <laughs> Tell me what you earn. What should I tip? Um. I think well, I, I think the less we know, the more they benefit because we're still <laughs> gonna tip. But what once we like the like well like uh, uh, they they have these ghost kitchens now, which are literally just people working in a food kitchen and orders come through the internet. However, it pops up on a screen or whatever, and then they just make it. And honestly, uh, from an employee perspective, I would like that. I don't want to talk to you on the phone. I don't want to deal with you in person <laughs> with you and your with your sloppy ass and and your messy uh, napkins everywhere and your kid uh, spilling teriyaki sauce on the floor that I got to clean up now. I want as little uh, interaction as possible. 
and I think that's where it's headed. But I, I, I think uh, there's there's just no one wants to really talk about it or expose it or because then people tip less or just not tip at all. And there's such a push over the last year and a half to help help your local businesses. Yeah. So if you don't tip in these COVID times, yeah. you're a big jerk. Yeah. And not only if you don't tip, you better be tipping 25 to 30% because yeah. we got to keep these right. restaurants open. Right. And sh- like a lot of restaurants have closed over the last year and a half. Yeah. A lot of restaurants that have been open for decades here in Sacramento, family yeah. owned. Yeah. So I'm... There's there's so much uh, like societal guilt and shame, like uh, especially when it comes to uh, DoorDash drivers and Grubhub and Uber Eats. Um, tip them. They don't... They, Uber Eats do, doesn't pay jack crap. But then or, on the other hand, Uber Eats is hurting businesses. So just right. order directly from the business. Right. And Uber Eats and uh, DoorDash, their fees are up the yin yang. Like just putting an order, placing an order, it's ten dollars in fees, ten to twelve dollars, and then you got a tip on top of that. It's like okay, but well, then here's the other kind. See, it's it's so much uh, back and forth, and and one side because there's good points on both sides. Um, there are people uh, who rely on Uber Eats and DoorDash and Grubhub to make money, and uh, they're they're sitting in their cars and they sit in parking lots staring at their phones, waiting for the next order to pop up, hoping for a, a good tip. Um, so, yeah, I, I just, I guess in the end, unless some some huge structural societal change happens, some uh, windfall, um, we're, we're just going to have to keep tipping. Uh, <laughs> you know, the employees, <laughs> uh, there's zero interaction, and I'm sure they're thankful for it. Uh, may, maybe... Going from 20% to 10% will, will become more hmm. expected or the norm. If I tip less than 20%, I feel like such a jerk. Yeah. 20% is my minimum. I know. And my mine is like 15. And sometimes I'll go I'll be like, mm, what about 12? What about 10? Because I, I see what's going on. But I yeah, I do, I do feel bad. Um, I don't know. But uh, so I, I did make it a point to be seen tipping uh did you give her a little wink as you dropped the cash in the jar <laughs> i made it rain i made it rain at the club um but i do feel because like i had all the i had all the cash uh uh tightly knit together and i just dumped it in uh the tip jar and i felt like i should have like <laughs> spread it out or counted said, it out like here's one, one here's two. two. Oh, you got a five look at you here's a five that makes seven I go back to my uh, eight, uh, bank teller days. One, two, seven, eight, nine. Uh, yeah. So, Oishi, how was their food, honey? It was fine. Yeah. <laughs> it, it was like you said it's equivalent to to Tsuki or Suki, whatever. T S U K I. Suki sushi. Yeah. yeah. It was on par with our go to sushi spot. Yeah. The girls. Which was closed that day, which is why we had to go to Oishi. Right. right. Suki was closed. Raku was closed. Yeah. Because it was the day after Thanksgiving? Yes, it was. Okay. It was the Friday yeah. after Thanksgiving. Oh, we, well, Oishi was open the day after Thanksgiving. They deserve 20% tip. Um, the girls gobbled it down. Yeah. Most of it Everyone very quickly. Everyone was happy. So, yeah. thank goodness. I had a piece of yours. It was, it was fine. I'm not really a sushi guy, but um, it, it, was, it was okay, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, I wanted to get, uh, one of their teriyaki things, uh, one of their big, uh, bento box plates, but then that would have been another $15 pushing our total from 65 plus 15 is 80. And then, then there's more tip. And I was just like, oh, who cares? That's fine. Uh, let, let the girls eat away and, uh, and, uh, well, they, they were happy. Only the worst for darling stepdad. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. So uh, we went to Nugget Market, which is a uh, sort of upper, up upper high end. Oh, it's fancy grocery store. I wouldn't put it. Would you put it on Whole Foods level? Yes. Really? Yeah. Okay, I put it above Rayleigh's. When I shop there, I feel like I'm at Disneyland. Yeah. In like a themed sh- shopping center. It's fun. 
Yeah, it's fun. It's a good time. Good decor. But then you see Coca-Cola on the shelf and you're like, eh. <laughs> How about that cheese display, though? You love the cheese display. <laughs> you love the fancy cheese d- display. Um, and then, uh, so when I think of Nugget, I think of uh, our, our realtor, Amanda Wilkins, who gifted us for some reason. We were hungry. You were hungry. Yeah. We were somewhere we're looking at houses. House hunting one day. And, and I complained about my hunger. And she busted out with these uh, goat cheese balls that had figs inside them. Yeah. And uh, they're very good. Yes. So they got the savory of the cheese and then inside a little bit of sweet of the fig. Um, but they don't sell them at the West Sack one, right? They sell them at the pocket. I've seen them at the one in, on Greenhaven. Yeah. I bought them just recently. I bought some more. Yeah, but I, I think we've looked for them at the West Sack one, and yeah. they don't have them for whatever reason. Um, another thing about the West Sack, uh, when we were out here looking uh, at homes and condominiums, um, we stopped there for to eat or whatever. Uh, we saw a man sitting in the deli. So... Uh, the deli you you go there you buy a sandwich and then they have seats and tables and you you sit down and you have yourself a sandwich that a lovely nugget employee whipped up for you this man bought all the ingredients for a sandwich he bought bread he bought mayonnaise he bought cheese he bought meat uh and and then he proceeded to bring all those ingredients sit down at the table and we were at the next table right behind him so we were observing all this in awe and he he proceeded he had a knife and everything and he started making (laughs) whipping up a sandwich with all these ingredients that he bought from the grocery store and we were like wow it's fascinating we watched him the whole time we were sitting there couldn't get enough could could we it was i was blown away i'd never seen anything like it (laughs) i haven't seen anything like it since (laughs) why why don't why don't more people do that it was just it was something. Well, he's he, because you buy a sandwich there, it's ten bucks or whatever. So he's just cutting costs. He's yes. cutting time. He doesn't want to go home. He doesn't have to clean up the trash, or I mean, he doesn't have to deal with the garbage in his own home. Um, it was uh, it was it was breathtaking. Uh, another time, uh, we were in the midst of COVID, still house hunting. Um, so they removed all the seats from the, the deli area, from the hot food area. Um, but they can't, they still have the counter, uh, like the bar against the wall um, where you can put stuff. Uh, and so we, I, f- I forgot what we ate, but we, we got something to eat. We looked around because we don't live here. We didn't live here yet. It's before we had bought our condo here. Right. So we, we can't take our food home. I mean, we could. We live 20 minutes away. Uh, but we, we wanted to eat in their eating section. There's no seats. There's no tables. So we just put the food on the bar uh, and and in the midst of COVID. So there's no employees around. There's no customers around. There's no one around. We didn't even know if we could eat there. But we were like, we don't give a crap. <laughs> and just to rub it in for whatever reason, I, we just started dancing. I started doing like pirouettes across the open yeah, room. Because <laughs> we were like, this is what we think of your uh, your lockdown rules. And you're taking away the seats and chairs for, for I would deem a not... Uh, reasonable reason. Um, it reminds me when we were at uh, Arden Fair Mall, and we 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 got food. All the seats and tables are gone. This was a year ago, less was, than a year. That ago. was for COVID too. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. And uh, the food court at Arden Mall was yeah. completely empty. Yeah, it looked like a post-apocalyptic scene out of a movie. Right. And so we got food. We were hungry. We got food, and one of the um, food. Uh, court uh storefronts was empty like whatever hot dog on a stick had gone out of business or whatever so it was uh it was uh vacant and we just put our food there on the counter we stood and ate (laughs) and it was like well this is this is what they want (laughs) like we're still gonna sit here and eat (laughs) like take away the tables and the seats you morons Uh, but anyways (laughs) if that's your covid policy Good luck with that. Uh, okay. So, <laughs> so yesterday, um, and we, well, we didn't know if the hot bar was open. Uh, cause I think recently we went there. Um, you're, well, you're going to the one in the pocket like once yeah, or twice a week. The right? one on Greenhaven is a few blocks away from my work and I walk to it yeah. on my breaks. I just walk up. It's 
it's a good distance. I like to get a little exercise. Yeah, you get and then steps. it's just fun. It's a fun store to walk around in and look at. Stuff. Absolutely, yeah. It's made for the senses. Um, but w- I, we went to the West Sacramento one. I want to say a month or two ago, and I remember the hot bar being open, but it was all prepackaged. Yeah. Like, uh, uh, it would have uh, just like a little plastic container of rice with some orange chicken on top, and it was sealed and closed up. So it, it was cooked there. It was s- sort of fresh. Um, but it wasn't uh, where, you, where you grab the spoon and just dish it up yourself. Um, so we we were we we didn't know if it was open or not. If if that was if it was like a, a buffet, or if, or if, or if it was just a bunch of uh, sealed prepared stuff. Um, and uh, we went there just on a whim because. We 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 were like what Rayleigh's hot walk or Nugget. Hot we were bar. thinking Chinese. Yeah. And Nugget usually has Chinese in their self serve buffet. Yeah. And so that's what we decided to do. Yeah. And uh, I wanted Peace Cuisine because they have a seventeen dollar fried rice, which I want to try and do a, do a taste test for the pod. And well, I want to try what seventeen dollar fried rice <laughs> is like. I'm sure it's pretty much similar to a uh, boat's fried rice, uh, but. We'll, we'll do that without the kids because uh, at Nugget we could get uh, there's like spring rolls and hmm. we get what, exactly what we want. Um, and we and we got the kids right now. We got most of the time. Um, so we decided to go to Nugget. Hot bar was open. The price is $10 a pound. So everyone knows the setup. They got a bunch of uh, little cardboard boxes that you just grab one and you put as much crap as you want in there. And then they weigh it at the checkout. And uh, and then you pay what whatever uh, amount you grabbed in weight. Um, <clears throat> I wanted to do so they had essentially like a bunch of uh, Asian food, Chinese food, whatever you want to call it. Um, and then they have uh, some barbecue food, like down south food. Um, I wanted I wanted a little of both, so I got two cardboard boxes. Um, I went. I, I call it surf and turf, honey. I went surf and turf for east meets west or Asian to south. Um, but it turns out, see, the, the, that whole method of serve yourself, it's fine. Uh, but when it's $10 a pound, it turns out my two uh, cardboard boxes of food uh, amounted to $32. <laughs> one was $17 and one was $15. There's no scales there's no scales uh, around the, the the buffet area, so you can measure it. Like, oh, I got I'm up to a pound. Maybe I'll slow down here, or or uh, I'm done. Or I guess people would start putting things back. I think that that's the problem. People would weigh their thing and say, well, two pounds, and then they, their food that they've already touched and scooped, they'd try to return. Yeah, and that would not be good. So yeah, I think, or they just they just want you to spend more, so right. they don't they, want you to know. They know you'll you'll overindulge because when you're looking at it in this little cardboard uh, contraption container, it doesn't look like a lot of food. No, it doesn't. It's it's very deceiving. <laughs> and then when you get home, you're like, wow, this is a lot of food. Um, so yeah, I I bought third. Well, you paid, honey, and thank you for paying. Uh, but my my two uh, items, my two little uh, cardboard boxes, cost thirty two dollars. So my dinner was thirty two dollars for myself. And part of the reason, because we considered panda. Panda's always in the conversation for Chinese, um, and uh, we can get we we get their family meal when we go there, and it's thirty bucks. and And I was like, well, I don't want to spend thirty bucks on dinner, and then my dinner alone, <laughs> I don't want to spend thirty bucks on on our family dinner, uh, and then my dinner alone costs thirty two flipping dollars. I, I felt I felt super bad, and uh, I apologize, honey. I'm still a good person. Uh, so uh, we. We brought it. We come home, um, and one thing you like how you taught me about the barcodes, honey. One thing you taught me uh, that I just learned last night is uh, so it, it's it's these uh, little cardboard containers, and you fold up the sides and you tuck in uh, tuck it in so it closes. Uh, come home, and then you just started peeling off. Oh like, yeah, like the like the. The lids or the whatever. The flaps of the box, the yeah. lids are yeah. perforated. So you yeah. can easily rip them off and then you have like a bowl yeah. that you're eating out of. I never knew that. <laughs> I, for all my life, when I would get go to Whole Foods or whatever, these similar types of situations, I would 
eat it with like flaps in in my chin and, <laughs> and uh my my hand would be hitting uh yeah. this this top over here and so i i peeled off a couple of the sides and i was like wow this this is this makes sense this is living so thank you for teaching me you're that, welcome honey. uh so what did i get uh what did i get i got a uh, chow mein uh they had a lot of veggies like onions red bell peppers in there um green fennel or were those onions yeah green onions um and i, I dug it because there was no celery there was no cabbage <laughs> uh I, I hate when they put that in uh in xiao main um but the one thing i would say is that they're uh the green onions they were too long like there were like two inch long slivers of green onions yeah and i i don't like that you gotta you gotta finely dice that you gotta chop that up smaller because it, it, it's hard to eat it's, mm-hmm. it's like a reed or something <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> it's like it's like <laughs> chewing on a reed and it doesn't break down in your teeth in your mouths um, but you, you like the chow mein, right? The chow mein was so good. Yeah, it was, the, it was very good. I liked the veggies. I yeah. liked the width of the noodles. Yes. It wasn't too thick and it wasn't too thin. Yep. Yeah. Good veggies. Very tasty and good quality, I thought. Yeah. I dug, dug their chow mein. Uh, then I got some, uh, fried rice. I thought it was too dry. Um, it had been sitting there for a while. Um, even like, you know how when, uh, you, like when you get the big spoon and you kind of mix it around yes. and hopefully, <laughs> hopefully liven it up, whatever. <laughs> and wake up, wake up, rice. We're about to eat you, or or you kind of you try to get the old and the new or heat it up on on some level. Uh, I thought it was too dry. Did you have any fried rice? No. Okay. Uh, you got the sesame chicken. Well, they had two chickens. They had orange chicken, which was breaded sesame chicken, not breaded. Uh, what, what did you think of the sesame chicken, honey? Thoughts, feelings, comments, reflections? I thought it was delicious. Ah. Um, the sauce was really good. It was a bit thick. I think it was a little, like it had been sitting there, the sauce. Mm-hmm. So yeah. the sauce was a little coagulated. Yeah. Whatever that word is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but it was very good taste. The chicken was really good. It like broke up. It was very tender. Yeah. It broke apart very nicely. Yeah. It was really yummy. Yeah, it was good. I had some of that. I opted mostly for the orange chicken. Um, it was very good. A very subtle orange um, flavor. Almost too subtle, but I, it's preferable to uh, the Panda Express orange, which is just overwhelming. Knock you on, knock your socks off. Uh, too much sweetness, too much orange, too powerful. Um, and then I got, uh, I got a couple pieces of their jalapeno pork. And I was... There wasn't any sauce to it, and it was just a bunch of breaded fried pork. That's super and, dry. Right, and, and a couple like slices of jalapeno, and I was like, "Well, there's got to be something more to this." I, I only grabbed four pieces of it, just four little chunks, just to see what was going on. I brought it home, ate it, and I was like, "There's nothing go- <laughs> more going on to this. There's literally not, nothing." I because I, I didn't want a I didn't want a giant bite of jalapeno, so it was just pork fried breaded fried and I, was, I was like okay whatever at least i didn't waste a lot of my uh 32 dollars <laughs> on uh on this big disappointment um okay so that was the turf or the asian or whatever <laughs> that was the oh, east we also got wontons yeah is that what oh, they're yeah. called uh pot stickers pot stickers pot stickers that's right that's right um i didn't like them I thought they were good. They were a little hard on the outside. Yeah, they'd been crunchy. sitting there. And with pot stickers, um, the dough, when it's fresh, it's like chewy. And then the meat inside is juicy. Um, and yeah, they'd been sitting there. So the dough was not chewy. And it wasn't thick. It was thin. It was more like pot stickers, like frozen pot stickers instead of uh, like fresh made or whatever, mm-hmm. fresh dough. Um, I didn't dig them, but I, I had like two or three. They're, they were okay. Um so that's the east. Let's move on to the west or the or the south. Um, they had fried chicken. And did you have any? I had one bite of yours. That's right. Lennox had one one piece of mine. Um, I thought it was good. I got three pieces total. Lennox had one. Uh, I thought it was good, but a few of the one piece of the chicken. First of all, it was all legs, which bravo, because I'm I'm a drumstick man. I'm not out here. I'm not out here. I'm not like. Uh, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not the coroner trying to pull apart a skeleton, like when you eat thighs and breasts and all, all this bone and 
what is all that? All, the, all that nut. Who, who likes that crap? <laughs> uh, anyways. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, I thought it was good. One uh, leg had like a bunch of just pieces of chicken that were just not good. Ew, really? Like, you, you know the parts that are just chewy or like, like they're muscly or cartilage or s- Cartilage. Veiny or uh. whatever. Yeah. It had like three pieces that I was like, I'm not going to eat that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it was it was good. Good breading. Um, it was fairly juicy chicken. Um, but we did a Hot Walk Rayleigh's a few weeks ago. And we had their fried chicken too. Uh, and I would put Rayleigh's fried chicken above uh, nugget fried chicken. I agree. Rayleigh's was better. Yeah. Rayleigh's breading was better. Just crunchier. Um, uh, yummier. Uh, but nugget was, was solid, solid fried chicken. I also got a couple of uh, pop- Potato mimosas, um, which... Uh, Samosas. Hmm? Sam- oh, yeah. Mimosas oh, yeah. the mimosas drink. Are, yeah. <laughs> we, bottomless mimosas, afternoon brunch, Sundays, am I right? Uh, potato samosas. Um, uh, I thought it was like the... the it was essentially a pastry with some potato in the middle. Um, I thought the, the crust or the, the, the dough, whatever, it was good. It was like very flaky uh gentle soft sensitive um delicate if you will um it was it was i was impressed by that and the, but in the end there was like the 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 stuffing was potato so it was like fried on carbs yeah that's not <laughs> appealing to me yeah well i only got two of them i just wanted to try it um yeah the, the dough was good but then overall it was just a fried dough on a uh, on carbs, uh, and so did was not did not like it did not like it. Uh, and then I got some uh, sidewinder potatoes. They're sort of like French fries. Um, they're not quite uh, seasoned curly fries, but they have like a fun shape. They're like, twisted. Um, they had uh, some breading, some seasoning. I thought it was fantastic. I really liked them. I, I ate them all. Um, Good taste, a uh, little bit of crunch, uh, pillowy soft potato inside. Uh, but I had a bunch of them, and I ate them all, and I really, really liked them. Okay, so that was nuggets. And a oop. What's that? Wow, please cut that out. That was my tummy. What is it? And a oop. Okay, so today we got takeout from Ay Yalisco numero dos. Not to be confused with confused with Casa Yalisco, which is a very good Mexican restaurant, also in West Sacramento, <laughs> on the other side of West Sacramento. We just ate there a few weeks ago. Um, but uh, this is on Jefferson Boulevard, uh, and we've been there a few times. Like we've dined in once. Uh, we. We were doing like a bang bang. It was before we went to see thick vatos and tacos. Oh. <laughs> and so we just wanted something light and quick. So we went in and we got some chips and salsa. And their salsa was labeled hot. But I was like, okay, well, I want to try it. Or I think, was it labeled extra hot? I don't know. No, I think it was just labeled hot. Okay. And then we sat down and uh, started eating it. And it was so flipping hot. It was the hottest salsa I've ever eaten. Yeah. And I was sitting there sweating, <laughs> snot coming out of my nose, and I, I, I just couldn't contain myself. It was so, gosh dang, hot. Um, and then another time, uh, we well, yeah, we've gotten takeout there. We've been there a few times for takeout. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and then uh, it's been around Ayalisco numero dos. Uh, it's been around a while because your friend, your close friend, Gina Mixon, used to go to Ayalisco numero dos uh, mm-hmm. when she, she lived here or grew up here. She which... grew up here. She spent the majority of her youth here in West Sacramento, but she hasn't lived here in about 16 years. Wow. Because she moved, like as soon as she was 18 or 19, she moved away from West Sac. Yeah. Over the bridge to Maine, Sacramento. Right. So, it, so it's been around f- since, I don't know, for I don't know how long, 20 years at least. Wow, that's super long. 
Um, and she sings praises of it. And she still talks to you about uh, how good it was uh, two decades ago. And uh, she's headed out here. She's supposed to come out here in like a week or two, right? For yeah. Christmas. And uh, is is our plan to take her there? Yeah, I told or... her. Okay. I told her I want you to spend a day with me and show me all your old hangouts here in West Sac. And I'll take yeah. you to Ayalisco. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so today, um, well, we wanted Mexican. And then it came down to California Burrito ranchero or ayalisco california burrito and ranchero i think they're the same they're, oh yeah they have the like the, we talked about before, the taqueria the, temp, template of the red and yellow the red and yellow <laughs> menus. color scheme um and it's it's marginal mediocre average food um but ayalisco is a little different it's a step um, up yeah hopefully <laughs> but i wouldn't say it's up to casa ayalisco level i say it's uh a step below Casa and a step above uh, California and Ranchero. Uh, okay, so I went on to their website. Well, it's, they don't have a website, but their Facebook links to like one of these third-party food ordering websites. Okay, whatever. It's Clover.com is, is, the, is the website, which I've seen and heard of before, sort of. They're in the restaurant space, uh, but I placed an order. I got all of our items uh, in, in the shopping cart there, placed the order, submitted the order, and I went to go urinate because I had to pee, honey. And then I went, I came back to my telephone and the order was like, the browser was still like uh, spinning. It was still, uh, what did, the cursor was still spinning. Like it was still working on it. And I was like, oh, it's been like a minute. Like what the heck? <laughs> So I just I closed the browser. So they're they're stupid. Uh, clo- their their uh, URL on Clover.com doesn't work. Their their space, their domain on Clover.com doesn't work. Yet when I went there today to pick up our food, there are signs on the wall saying "Go to our website" and it's Clover.com, whatever the rest of the URL is. So they're plugging it and and they're they're saying go, they want people to go there and use it. But it's not working. And you did not let them know this when you were there, correct? I know. I, <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to bother anyone. <laughs> uh, well, it's like the myturn.ca.gov website. Oh, my gosh. If you, if you actually try to use it, Gavin Newsom is constantly saying, go here, get your booster, find the vax, do all this. And... I, I don't I don't think he's gone. I know he hasn't gone on the website because it's a nightmare. I've gone on the website twice. First I, to try to get the vax. Second, I'm trying to get the booster now because my mom's making me get the booster to go visit her. Uh, and it's just, it's ridiculously not intuitive. It's not user friendly. The links take you not where they promise to take you. You yeah. can't make an appointment. Yeah. And I've been, I've been on the internet since the internet became a thing. And it's just, it doesn't make sense. Like... The uh, results pop up that you can't click. You have to go down this list of 80 results and find the one result that you want that should be clickable on the map. Anyways, <laughs> myturn.ca.gov. Go get your booster, kids. Um, so their web, their clover.com doesn't work. Is the point. So I had to call. Uh, I don't like calling. They, they don't like answering the phone, <laughs> I'm guessing. I've 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 been in call centers, uh, talking to customers. I've worked at uh, I worked at Platt Electric Supply where people would call and talking to customers on the phone. It's it's not a fun it's not a fun experience. It's horrible. The employees hate it. I hated it. The everyone hates it. Who has to do it? Anyways, uh, so I had to call. So uh, I thought it was funny. So uh, we we like um if. Uh, there's a there's a actor named Ashton Kutcher, and uh, and Stifler did a movie, Dude, Where's My Car? Which people know it, but I don't think a lot of people have seen it. It, it came out in like the year two thousand. Yeah, um, Dude, a, Where's My Car? <laughs> there's a great scene. It's a mostly forgettable movie, but there's a great scene where they go order Chinese food via drive through, and uh, and um, and so you pull up to the drive through. Say, uh, I want some uh, wontons. And the lady in the speaker goes, and then. And some fried fried rice. And then. And some egg rolls. And then. 
and wontons it, and then, and it just goes on, and it's super funny. But it makes me think of, because uh, when uh, workers have to answer the phone, they don't know if you're going to order one thing, or they don't know if you're going to order 38 things. So they have to give a code to let you know that they're done writing down your order, or the item you ordered, and they're ready for the next item. Or, or they write it down or they input it into whatever the ordering system. Uh, so I called up a uh, nice sounding gentleman. What would you like? Uh, chorizo breakfast burrito. Thank you. Anything else? Uh, two crispy tacos with chicken. Thank you. Anything else? Uh, bean and cheese and rice burrito. Thank you. Anything else? And I just thought it was funny. <laughs> Like, he's thanking me after each item, which well, I appreciate. Gratitude is, is lacking these days. Um, and then the anything else, it's, I just thought it was, was kind of cute. It was funny. And his accent. Uh, listen, I don't see race, honey. Okay. I don't see color. But his uh, accent, it was it was funny. Thank you. Anything else? <laughs> Very cute. This is cute. Um, uh, so, I get there. Um, thank you. Anything else? And that oop. Oh, am I doing the voice right? <coughs> thank you. Anything else? Thank you. Anything else? Thank you. Anything else? <laughs> Maybe it's the, uh, the modicum, the, the, the tone, the tenor. And that oop. Okay. So I get there and they got the salsa bar open and they got the, the chip Thing open a lot of the taquerias recently lately they, they don't have the salsa bar open they don't have the thing where you can go up and grab a bunch of free chips i at least go numero dos had both i was like thank you it makes my life easier um and it's it's nice to see it's just nice to see that like we're, we're getting back to normal as it were uh so they hand me my order and they handed me four bags for chips which i thought was cool so i could walk over to where they have the hot chips under the heat lamp and grab uh four bags of uh chips i guess they give you one bag with each item you order uh salsa bar they had and that oop so they gave me four small empty bags for chips promptly filled those up um salsa bar uh they gave me also a bunch of uh, the little plastic cups and i got some chunky red salsa i got some thin red salsa and then i got uh it was labeled sour cream salsa now for people who don't know there's this thing we call the nectar it's available at uh cocina doña chuyita and it's available at gilberto's and citrus heights chuyitas in west sacramento but it's uh it's sour cream based and it they put uh, carrots and jalapeno in there, and maybe some seasoning and spices. Uh, <laughs> Mexican orego, oregano, as my mom says, is a secret to, to her <laughs> carne asada. But it's flipping the bomb, and you throw that on anything you eat, and it's so good. And that's what I was hoping this was. Visually, there wasn't... Uh, I, I couldn't... It was, it was mostly white. Yeah. And with the nectar at Chuyita and Gilberto's, uh, there's like green from the jalapenos and orange from the carrots. Yeah, it's chunky. Yeah. It's more thick. Yeah. And this was mostly white and thin, but I was, I was, I was like, oh, I hope this is, I hope this is the nectar because it's hard to find. Most places do not offer it. Um, oh, and then the guy behind me. Uh, who ordered behind me, he walked up and said, can I get a oh. a la Uncle Paul Lewis? Hmm. <laughs> and, then, uh, and then the woman after him <laughs> began her order with, let me get a... Oh. <laughs> I was just like, oh man. You're surrounded by amateurs. <laughs> oh geez. Uh, there was a woman, uh, an employee of Ayalisco Numero Dos, who was eating a cheesecake by herself now i obviously i i didn't witness everything i, I was only there for a couple <laughs> minutes uh but when i walked in she was munching she was about uh 60 done with the cheesecake there was no fork wait she wait, was wait. eating with her hand yeah 
And it wasn't a slice. It was a whole cheesecake. It was an entire cheesecake in like a, like an aluminum tin thing. And she was eating with her hands. Yes. Yes. She was she was an employee. She was behind the counter. She was sitting there. She was she was yucking it up too. She was like chatting in Spanish. I couldn't understand what was what she was saying, but there were a lot of laughs had. <laughs> Maybe they were laughing at her eating with her hands she, an entire cheesecake. She was having a grand old time. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it was her birthday. <laughs> Cumpleaños feliz. Uh that's happy birthday in Spanish, honey. In Espanol. Uh, well, I, I thought, is she an employee? Is she on a break? If she is on a break, is this how you spend your break? <laughs> like, why don't you go back and and, and, uh, and smoke uh, with, with the rest of the uh, employees? Uh, it was just, it was, it was something to witness. It was something to see. Um, so, uh, it's COVID and we're all wearing masks sometimes. Uh, and Ayalisco has a uh, plastic from the ceiling to down to the counter. But they do something that I haven't seen before. They hooked up a speaker that is is in the plastic. So it's hard to read people's lips, but they're, they're speaking in the speaker so it's easier to hear them. But it's very odd. Um, so the, the woman who was helping me, who she's two feet in front of me, we're separated by plastic. Uh, and, and I can see her and she's talking, but she's talking through this speaker. So it's like a drive through speaker sitting in the middle of this plastic <laughs> hanging from the ceiling. And she's right in front of me. And the whole experience is, hi, like, hi uh, yeah, I have, a, I have a pickup order, Vince. Oh, is it the chorizo burrito? Yeah, it's the chorizo burrito. Okay, would you like any salsa? And it was like, what is going on here? This is, this is the most bizarre thing. <laughs> Uh, anyways, uh, they they had the chips out, like I said, the self serve chips, um, but like the cover, the the sneeze guard, for lack of a better word, it, it was uh, it impacts your your retrieval of the chips. So they they got the tongs in there, and you reach in uh, with and grab the tongs and get some chips. But pulling the chips out, like there isn't a lot of room to navigate, so I'm constantly hitting my arm against the, the cover and causing a mess. And by the way, there was already mess there. Like this, this causes uh, aggravation for, for people all day because there's chips everywhere. <laughs> like there's chips on the counters, there's chips on the floor. And I was like, well, why don't they have a better setup? Was it the same for the salsa? Or no, was that more open? That was more open. They did have the, the cover, but it was, there was, there was more uh, elbow room, literally. And that, oop. So yeah, uh, helping myself to uh, an overabundant amount of uh, crappy free chips was was a pain in the butt, and I deserve better. I ended up just pulling out the the tray towards me uh, on the counter, and just just made it a lot easier. Uh, okay, so what did we get? We got two crispy tacos with chicken. That's what I got. Um, Luna Marie got a bean and cheese and rice burrito. You got two Quesa Berea tacos. Uh, Luna, wa- Luna wanted hot sauce. It didn't come with hot sauce. Uh, you gave her a, a, a bottle of La Victoria hot sauce. Uh, she took a sniff and said it smelled <laughs> gross. And then so she... Whatever. Her, her burrito was uh, Sans hot sauce, honey. She was disappointed, I could tell. <laughs> Len ate... A bunch of the free crappy potato, or, sorry, tortilla chips. Uh, he said they weren't salty. Um, he proceeded to try to sprinkle salt on dry chips. <laughs> I said, the salt's going to fall to the bottom of the bag, dude. Uh, which but, it did. <laughs> which it did. Uh, and he, kept, he tried again. He poured even more salt. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you, so I, I, I suggested to how, how you do uh, shots of tequila. Yeah. You take a shot of tequila. Yeah. You lick the salt off your hand. Yeah. Well, you, but you lick your hand first, right? So the salt, right. and then pour salt. Right. So st- salt has some moisture so to stick sticks. to. I've never done that. Did you do that at a bar in a? I've done that many times. Really? Why have you never done that? I don't know. Cause I'm 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 a uh, I'm a white nectar white nectar <laughs> white claw kind of girl, honey. <laughs> I'm also a white nectar kind of girl. Uh, Len Lenny. So he he was unhappy that there was no salt, but he ate a bunch of the chips. He ate like two bags full. Yeah, uh, the nectar. Um, 
Well, what did you think, honey, compared to Chuyita and Gilberto's? I thought it was on par with Chuyita's. Yeah. Gilberto's is the top of the top. Mm. Nothing compares. Mm -hmm. I thought it was on par with Chuyita. Yeah. I thought it was a step below Chuyita. I thought it was it was thinner. Um, it was like a watered down Chuyita nectar. Um, still good. I'm glad they had it. Uh, but nothing will reach the pinnacle of Gilberto's nectar. And uh, I still rank uh, Chuyita nectar a step above. Um, how were your uh, Quesa Barilla tacos, honey? They, they gave you... It, it, come, it came along with uh, some consomme dipping sauce. Consomme. Yeah. That's the that's the name of it that I I haven't had the name of it. I just keep calling it the Mexican au jus. Right. What is consomme? I'm not sure. Hmm. <laughs> it's the it, Mexican au jus. It doesn't translate. No. To, you don't. Okay. Not not that I know of. Uh, my tacos were delicious. Yeah. It's they, this they is look good. it's that thing where you take a tortilla mm-hmm. and then you do like cheese and you fold the quarter yeah. meat fold the, so you fold fold it in fourths. Yeah. And you put like cheese and the meat and so yeah. it's it's a tortilla folded up mm-hmm. I, I guess that's why they call it a quesa burria burria yeah because it's kind of like a quesadilla is there cheese thing. on the outside it looks like the like greasy or it was or... very greasy. the whole thing is super greasy yeah the cheese kind of gets crispy i think it's just the cheese that happens to kind of come out a bit gotcha as they're grilling it yeah um so it's very juicy very yeah. greasy yeah very fun to dip in the consomme but it's, the consomme is so thin that you you don't really yeah. get a lot of it. But it's still fun. And there's too much of it. They give <laughs> there's you, way too much. They give you like uh, enough consomme to dip like uh, 60 uh, burrilla tacos yeah, in there. Yeah. And you ended up throwing away like most of your most consomme. Most of it. Right? Um, my burrito, uh, it had rice. Uh, well, this goes to like the website oh. being down. When oh, What's up? You got a chorizo burrito. Yeah. Did you know it was going to come with rice? Yeah. Well, okay. see, th- this goes to when 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 you're dealing with the website, it's easy to customize and say without this, with this, extra that. But when you're talking to, thank you, anything else? <laughs> I, like, I want to make it as simple as possible, as quick as possible, mm-hmm. as painless as possible. I feel bad for the dude. Okay, he's just out here trying to make it in this rap game. And, uh, and so I, I didn't want to be like... Oh, no beans, no pico de gallo, no cheese. So I just said no beans. And I kept, but so I knew there was going to be rice in there. I usually don't get it with the rice. I've never seen a chorizo burrito with rice on it. Yeah. Is that a thing? Uh, no, the, it, it's, it's, it usually comes with beans and cheese. Uh, but this Ayalisco numero dos has, has rice, beans, and cheese with it. Hmm. Interesting. Um, yeah. So I, it, uh, and it's just a bunch of carbs um, <laughs> uh, but my man uh, uh thank you anything else i didn't want to i didn't want to uh, ruin his day and just uh have him, keep him on the phone any longer talking to my stupid ass so i try to keep it as quick as and easy as possible uh so i knew there was going to be rice but geez the amount of rice in his in my burrito and it was just it was like a wall of rice a cavalcade of rice. Um, and I realized rice is cheap and it's a loss leader. Um, and it's more expensive or it's, it's a lot cheaper than uh, chorizo um, and eggs. But geez, too, way too much rice. Uh, the chorizo was super dry. I like the when it's greasy, when uh, it, it, like some orange uh, fluid comes out of your uh, uh, breakfast burrito. There was none of that. Chorizo is super dry. Uh, there was onion in there and I appreciated that. A little moisture um but overall I, I i didn't i didn't like the burrito um so that is i yalisco and a oop <sighs> okay and a oop okay so that was west sack best eats are uh <laughs> <laughs> canceled before it ever even got off the ground uh radio show um oishi okay nugget hot bar Good. Okay. <laughs> Good with some highlights, some lowlights. Uh, I at least go too. Eh, okay. Uh, but they did have a, a version of the nectar. Uh, and now we move on to Pizza Guys, uh, which we got last Saturday. Uh, okay. So ordering. Uh, I ordered through their website and I like it because it, it, it gives you the progress. Like um, once you place the order, it'll say making 
the the status and then it automatically refreshes and to baking and then the next uh status it refreshes to is ready so i'd like you can keep an eye on it and that oop okay that i placed the order i did pick up um they had the curbside uh where an employee comes out to your car and uh gives you your uh your pizza hands it to you through your uh, car window. I, I I always feel lazy. Like I feel like a loser when yeah. when when uh, when I when I if if I choose that we we do do that. Everyone's like McDonald's has curbside, but that's just uh, uh just easier than going drive through or if there's a queue inside of of uh, people waiting uh, for dine in. Um, but their curbside pickup I thought was uh, noteworthy. Uh, if you choose curbside pickup. Uh, the pizza guy's website tells you, please pay in advance below. Okay. Please park near the store. Call when you arrive and turn on your hazard lights so we can locate you. <laughs> I think that's a little bizarre. It is. What about the person who has a flat tire and has their hazard lights on near a pizza guy's? Is he going to get your, uh, <laughs> your cheesy rolls, honey? Is that what's happening here? Lots of uh, room for error. Yeah. Just very... Very odd. Turning on your hazard lights, that attracts attention, and uh, that that area of uh, West Sacramento, you don't want to attract attention. I uh, uh, got a text when uh, pizza was ready. It was exactly on time uh, when they said it would be. I think it was two twenty one. Like your pizza will be ready at two twenty one. That's when the text popped up. Um, parking there sucks. It's on Harbor Boulevard. Uh, that that entire shopping center. It's just a pain in the butt. Lots of uh, there's <laughs> there's like potholes in 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 the asphalt in the parking in the parking lot. <laughs> it's a mess. It's it's a mess. Um, I liked uh, walked in uh, the fem- female employee there. I liked that she she offered plates. She's like, "Do you need any plates?" I was like, "No." And then uh, she gave me a bags for the sauces. So, so Little Caesars, when you get like ranch on the side or whatever. They give you your pizzas and then they put your sauces on top of your pizza. And so if we get three, four boxes of pizza or whatever, and then they throw uh, three or four uh, little cups of sauces on top of the boxes, suddenly I'm like in the circus, like trying to balance (laughs) everything to my car, getting in my car, uh, uh, trying not to trip over the homeless person in front of Little Caesars. Like, I don't like that, but I like that she put it in a bag so it was easy to carry. Uh, very handy, very convenient. Uh, there was a crazy person right outside. Again, this is a <laughs> lawless, borderless tribal region of West Sacramento, Harbor Boulevard. Uh, but I noticed, like, literally right outside the pizza guy's window, there was just crazy lady yelling at whoever randomly. And I just thought, wow, it'd be, it'd be a trip to work here. Um and well, does it impact business? I don't think so because there's not a lot of walk up uh, traffic right there. Um, we did, I did get a, f- so we got a free ice cream, a choice for free ice cream or soda, which the website didn't advertise. Um, and I chose ice cream because soda, eh, dime a dozen, everyone has soda. It was, it's a two liter soda or a little, was that a pint or I a quart? it was a. The little one. Yeah, the the, the Ben and Jerry's size. Yeah. Um, and so I got, uh, I chose Butterfinger, but I like that. It did. There was no indication on the website that we were going to get that, but she was like, yeah, grab a ice cream or a soda. I was like, cool. Got Butterfinger. Um, I, I tipped ahead of time. See, one thing, we, we just assailed tipping on online, on the website ahead of time. Uh but we didn't have any cash. You didn't have any cash. Right. I didn't have any cash. So we couldn't tip in person when I got there with cash. So in this particular instance, in this case, uh, we tipped ahead of time with my order, with my credit card. I forget, I can't forget if you paid or if I paid. Um, and I thought it was fun uh, when, when you pick how much you tip. Like the 15% had a little smiley emoji and then the 20% had a heart emoji. I thought, eh, that was kind of cute. Uh, I brought all this food home uh, to uh, you and Luna Marie and Lennox Albert. You guys were watching Ben Hur on the television. Oh, this was so. Oh, that's right. This was so funny. We're sitting around in the living room. Luna says, "Can we watch Ben Hur?" Mm-hmm. And I'm like, 
you mean the really old movie? Right. <laughs> Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. And yeah, that's what she was talking about because in, I think, her history class, they were learning about the Roman Empire. Mm-hmm. So her her teacher at school showed the class that scene. Chariot race? The, the horse yeah. chariot race scene. Yeah. yeah. And she really liked it. Her whole class was enraptured. Yeah. They thought it was great. So she wanted us to watch it. So we did. We put it on and the, the kids were digging it. Luna and Lennox <laughs> were glued to the screen. Yeah. And then after that scene ended, we just left it on and we yeah. watched almost, we watched like another 45 minutes of it. Yeah. But then we were all lost. We had no idea what was going on. Yeah. So then Luna, she she says, let's turn this off. And what's the movie? Oh, and then she wants to watch Spartacus. Spartacus, yeah. The old, du- what's his name? Kirk no. Douglas. Kirk du- the yeah. old Kirk Douglas movie. Yeah. I said, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we put on Spartacus and it's three and a half hours or something crazy. Yeah. We watched about an hour and a half. Yeah. Lennox especially was really into Spartacus. Wow. And I thought it was pretty entertaining too. Yeah. I've never seen either of those movies. Yeah. But I, I, I couldn't believe they wanted to watch those two old movies. Yeah. And we ended up watching a good chunk of both of them. Odd. It was a very odd. You know what I've been? Choice. I was thinking about today. What was tripping me out is like, so darling daughter Luna Marie, she's twelve. She'll be thirteen in February, March, Fe- uh, January. January. <laughs> that was close. Okay, <laughs> February was close. Um, but uh, she watches television series. Like she just recently recently watched Chucky. It's uh on Sci Fi and it's on the internet, or whatever. Uh, but she watched the entire first season. And and I, I've always been like, oh, these kids with their TikTok, TikTok videos are what, whatever, 15 seconds long, and they have no patience, short attention span. They they can't deal with the two and a half hour movie, and I can't deal with the two and a half hour movie <laughs> well, at this point. Uh, but what's up with all these kids? But she will get into a series and just become like like into it and watch it, while watch it from start to finish. Um, and and I put so we we didn't know much about Chucky. Obviously, we know the the way old school uh, movies. Yeah, this is a current remake. Yeah. yeah, and so I wanted to check it out, make sure it's not like too uh, bloody or dark or explicit or whatever. So I threw it on uh, for a couple minutes, and I was like, okay, I I could not get into it. I could, I couldn't care less, uh, and what we've talked about in most series, it's hard to get into. Um, or, or I just give up. You and I are the ones with yeah. short attention right. spans. It right. turns out. So these kids with these TikToks and no attention span, it's really, it's really us who, uh, who fish or, or cut bait or whatever. <laughs> I tried to say that last night. I don't think I got it right. Uh, but yeah, I just, I just find it. And she, she, she starts digging series, outer banks or whatever, outer limits. She watches right? a ton of TV. She loves TV shows. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think she watches a lot of movies, but she's really into TV series. Right, I I couldn't give a crap about ninety nine point nine percent of TV series. I'm always like, put it into a movie, give me a two hour movie, so I can be done with it, so I can move on with my fascinating life of a uh, of a uh, eating pizza guys, <laughs> getting takeout from Ayalisco. Uh It's 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 a good time, you know. Actually, I was thinking yesterday, I was like, we got a nice little thing. You and I, darling. Yeah, we do. We got a fun little happy, uh, loving little thing going on here. <laughs> we got a groovy kind of love, uh, to quote Phil Collins. Okay, so what do we get? Uh, we got a small two-topping pizza for $7.99, a $5.48 discount, honey. Okay. Ooh. Normal price, $13.47. Uh, I think at $13.47, a small two-topping that's severely overpriced, yes, right? <laughs> especially for that particular pizza that we got. Giant profit margin, or <laughs> uh, uh, I, I don't know who is is ordering that at that price. Um, but they got like the I forget what it's called the special section or the featured specials. So eight bucks, five dollar, five and a half dollars off. Uh, it was a small two topping. It was a signature crust, and it was the. It came with the pepperoni, and it was a small pepperoni, the kind that curl up, uh, the cup and crisp pepperoni, as they call it. And then we threw uh, extra cheese on there. This is for Luna, so she could peel off the pepperoni because she's pescatarian. And then uh, the second topping is just more cheese. Um, 
I dug uh, the small pepperonis. I like. I prefer those to the the like larger flat pepperonis. I do too. Because they well they they they're cup crispy. And cr- right and they they get like a little uh, puddle or pool of grease. <gasps> yes. In there, yeah. It's so good. That's a good time. <laughs> uh, so. Uh, yeah, that was that was okay. And then I got a small two topping for myself and you. Uh, we we got it um, the Tuscany thin crust. But honestly, I I ate both of the pizzas, uh, the Luna pizza with the signature crust, the regular crust, and then we got the Tuscany thin crust. I couldn't tell the difference. Oh. <laughs> they were both <laughs> uh, they were both terrible crusts. Well, to be frank, um, uh, we got it with creamy pesto sauce, Italian sausage. And red all yawns. Um, honey, you peeled off the sausage like Luna peeling off the pepperoni. <laughs> I, I always take the sausage off my pizza and put it on your plate. Yeah. And uh, w- what did you think, honey? Thoughts, feelings, eh, comments, reflections? It was okay. Yeah, it was, it was not great. I thought, see, I thought the toppings were good. Like, I thought the sausage was good. Um, I thought the onions were fine. Um, but the dough, uh, the crust was just nearly frozen pizza ish uh really chewy uh just not not pleasant and there were a few so when you bake a pizza obviously uh dough rises and there were and this is a small pizza uh there were three spots where the dough rose into like a a puff like 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 a bubble like a dough bubble yeah (laughs) <laughs> and, and 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 there's nothing to that there's nothing in the middle and and then the toppings like slide off during the cooking process so three bubbles on this tiny pizza three bubbles of air essentially <laughs> it completely ruined uh, my, my experience i was like what the, what the heck is going on it here it was so disappointing yeah like what's up with those puff uh big bubbles of of air dude um and uh and yeah and there just wasn't a lot of sausage. Um, like w- one of my pieces had literally one piece of sausage. Uh, the pesto seemed watered down. It wasn't good pesto. Yeah. It was because we got some like in little cups on the side. Um, and it was like, <laughs> it was very it's white. Like it was nearly white. Yeah. yeah. It was very little pesto. Yeah. I don't know if they mixed it with ranch or sour cream or. Pesto should be like disgustingly green it like, be like an army green bright or, green and very thick right or very very dark green or bright green or yes green <laughs> instead of <laughs> not white instead of like 85 percent <laughs> white i think it was i think they watered it down the ranch or whatever um but yeah the, the crust was was really weak um i mean it was they were fine but uh, not not great pizzas okay so let's move on to the cheesy garlic rolls. This was this was uh, the showstopper. This, this was, is why we went. This closed the concert, honey. This is uh, Metallica at a uh, what's the big concert Madison in India? Madison Square Garden. What's the uh, and uh, oop? What's the concert in the desert in Southern California? Lollapalooza? No, that's Chicago. <laughs> and uh, oop. Indio, California. I'm not angry. I'm doing this for the Coachella. Coachella. This is like Metallica closing out Coachella, honey. How'd you like that metaphor? Uh, Okay, so cheesy garlic rolls. Now, how did we come upon this? I don't know. A Facebook ad and or an Instagram ad? Social media ad. Yeah, and they look really, really good. They look like savory, cheesy cinnamon rolls. Yeah. Like yeah, that like, shape, like pinwheels. Yeah, yeah pinwheels with yeah. like cheese and sauce and. Yeah, it looked Ooh. super good, um, and so we were we tagged each other, we sent it to each <laughs> other, so whatever we do, do, and we were like, we need to go here and get this, and it's a new item, uh, the cheesy garlic rolls. First of all, they they spell cheesy C H E E Z E E. Oh, they I'm trying too hard there. Right. What what is that? What, why why would they get rid of the S Y? Why would they put in Z E? Not only a Z, but an E E at the end. Right, it's just gross negligence. <laughs> what, what what would their third grade spelling teacher say? It's just nonsense. Uh, okay, so cheesy garlic rolls is described as from pizzaguys.com. Rich in buttery garlic rolls made with our creamy signature white garlic sauce and filled with gooey mozzarella cheese and minced garlic. 
Uh, so go ahead, honey. Thoughts, feelings, comments, reflections. These were disgusting. Yes. And as we were eating, I was so excited. They were beautiful when you opened the box. Yeah. You took a picture. Yeah. They looked great. Yeah. And I, so I started chomping down on one. Yeah. And I was like, oh, it tasted really bad. And then as we were eating it, you said, this is sour. Yeah. And as soon as you said that word, I was like, oh, because that's <clears throat> the exact word that described them perfectly. But I hadn't been able to quite pinpoint like, what is, why is this so bad? Yeah. So as soon as you said that word sour, yeah. I like, I couldn't eat anymore. Yeah. Like much like Olivia Rodrigo, I said sour. Yeah. I, they it, were terrible. It was, it was a very odd flavor. And I don't know, is it the creamy signature white garlic sauce? Is it the gooey mozzarella cheese? Is it the minced garlic? I don't know Where either. Where did this sour, <laughs> it, it was like borderline lemony, um, like how, um, I, like some cheese, like blue cheese, how it has like a mold or a funk. It, it was like that, but a sour version of it. it was um, like it, were the ingredients expired? Were they bad? Hmm. Um, another thing was that like the outside. So it, it's it's your pinwheel. It's it's a a cinnamon roll for light, for light, for to paint the picture. Um, but the outside, it's like bread. You're like, okay, there's bread going on. But once you start getting into the inner circles of the of the snail of the escargot <laughs> once you get into the snail shell it was disgusting it was so gooey it was slimy <laughs> it was nasty it was gooey it oh, was gross it was terrible. unappealing zero texture just it was just a turn off you're just like <laughs> yep and I, so much nastiness i would think about them like over the next couple days mm -hmm. i would just be struck with the memory and i would literally shudder yeah because it was so gross. Yeah. Not good. <laughs> literally still shaking from the experience. I literally shook for two days so after. Much, so much promise. What yeah. happened? What was up with the sour and then just the slimy texture <laughs> inside? <laughs> just, I'm, I'm kvetching. I'm going to hurl. Wayne, I'm going to hurl. Anyways. Zero out of ten. Yeah. Uh, horrifying. Terrible. Worst thing ever. And their pizza was not good. Their cheesy garlic <laughs> rolls were not good. Uh, I mean, say what you want about Little Caesars, and we've said a lot, but uh, they're bad, but they're uh, consistently bad, <laughs> not uh, not deplorable. Uh, so uh, so that's our review. Uh, the pizza cheesy rolls, big time miss. Nasty, disgusting, worst pizza cheesy rolls ever. Worst spelling ever. Am I right? All righty. Is that the end, honey? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's the end of the program. It's been fun, but not really. Let's all try a little harder next time. Like, comment, subscribe, follow, review, and rate. Or don't. Do whatever you want. You're a grown-up. Make your own decisions. Do what's best for your family. Please be sure to use our promo code for free produce at the Walmart <laughs> self-checkout. We don't have a promo code for free promo code at the Walmart self-checkout. What's the promo code? Just throw whatever you want in your bag. And then uh, the greeter. Grab it and person. run. <laughs> make make a run for it. Ra, go, go, go. It's like uh, Reservoir Dogs over here. Goodbye. I love you. We love you. We hope you have a good day today and tomorrow. And sure, I may have admitted to Grand Theft Produce. But I'm still a good person, and we're still good people. Thank you for listening. Thank you for your time. I hope you have a wonderful day slash night. A bye bye. And a oop. Ooh. We got chicken. Is that crispy, juicy, tender?